is there a five? He needs an eight. He needs an eight or a four. Look, anytime you are getting yourself outside your comfort zone, you're learning. You are exposing yourself to new ideas and new ways of thinking. And we've got an all-in showdown for the whole ball of wax. The number one similarity between playing poker at a high level and, and being an entrepreneur is that both of them are strategic investing. If you play poker and you're playing to win, you're not really gambling. You're risking your money at positive expectation. There are common experiences as entrepreneurs in facing challenges and meeting those challenges. I think you can really learn a lot from each other in a space like this. To have a professional poker player talk to us about playing poker uh, and then to turn it on its ear because he's also an entrepreneur was really fun. It was a chance to learn something new, meet people that aren't in my forum that I don't normally interact with, and it's just a really good time to network with some other business owners. People really want to help people. Very collaborative. How can I help you? What do you need? I know a guy who can fill that spot for you. I've learned a lot from these events and made some very lasting and impactful business relationships. The CEO event, I think, has been spectacular. Every time I go to a learning event like this one or meet with my forum, I wonder how the hell I made it so far uh, in business before I had EO in my life. Mostly what I hope is that the, the audience at EO had fun and they learned a little bit about professional poker. They learned a little bit about how to play the game at a higher level than they were playing it before and they can take those lessons and apply them to their day-to-day -day business. Is it clean? Wait, it's going to last second.